Visual XP is an unparalleled plugin for X-Plane, which brings some really astounding visuals to the simulator. Now today I'm going to be reviewing Visual XP and sort of going through all the settings, all the options to show you guys just how good it is. Now, first of all, if you're watching this video to see whether or not it's any good, I'll start by saying absolutely yes it's brilliant has no performance impact on my system at least and my system specs will be in the description below um but yeah i think for the price i have the ultimate version and that's what i'll be showing off today for the price it's very good it gives you some really really nice visuals and it's done very very well that's not to say it doesn't have a couple of issues uh, but we'll be going over that shortly so if you want to see why i'm really recommending this product then continue watching and of course, very quickly, please do like and subscribe. It really does mean a lot. And if you haven't already hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my live streams or videos. Okay, so here is Visual XP. I've currently got all of them turned off. As you can see, there's different uh, features and I've got them all turned off so far. So this is stock default X-Plane uh, you are currently looking at. Let's turn the page two down a bit on this. Uh, and we'll move this off to the corner here. So, got everything turned off at the moment let's just go through the ui very quickly so um here if i turn the atmosphere on just for a second um let that settle uh so you can see here you can kind of change the color scheme um you know pretty minor i just leave it on default but it's a nice touch and as i showed before you can change the opacity of this window here and you can set it back to default by clicking that there uh, you can reload visual xp you can power off the Visual XP. You don't have to do it through the plugin manager. You have a bunch of presets and I'll show you that later. You can pop out the window. Um, so if you want it on a second monitor or something like that, there's some information here, which is really nice. And you can of course close the window. And this button here will recenter the window. So let's go through some of these settings. So we do have the atmosphere on now. So we've got ozone colors here. Uh, which as you can see sort of changes how the lighting is these are all the different presets here my personal favorite is preset 5 which looks really nice and that's the default and let it settle that's preset 5 now you can of course change all of this stuff so you know this ozone red you can see now there's a bit of a red tinge um, you can change the color temperature so it's a bit yellow if you want it a bit blue if you want it more yellowy you can change all that um these tick boxes at the top here uh basically make it so that visual xp controls all these settings but you can still sort of change them if you want so you know you can see just how much i've changed them there so that's really nice you've got lots of customization you can really tune the visual xp to exactly how you want it to look so you've got aerosol here which sort of adds haze or you can have none or you can reset back to default it's really nice that you can reset back to default here and so that's the atmosphere and this makes a big difference when in combination with the clouds a lot of these work together really well so you may not see massive differences uh on their own but when it's all put together which i'll show at the end it's really really nice some of the results you get are amazing let's turn the clouds on now and look at that difference we are on VFR scattered at the moment, if I go here. Uh, sorry, VFR broken. So this is just a preset, it's not live. I'll go through live weather afterwards. But yeah, look at those clouds. They not look amazing. That's default, explain clouds. And they look okay, it's not too bad. But then you turn these visual XP clouds on and boom, look at that. Amazing stuff. Uh, this is with the standard cloud enhancement on. If I turn the uh, beta on, yes they look okay and you can go through this uh add noise reducer but just watch what happens to my fps when i add this in looks great kills fps so this extreme cloud enhancement i don't recommend at the moment it is still in beta and honestly the standard cloud enhancement is good enough with minimal fps impact i mean if i turn it off we're at what 85 86 87 somewhere around there frames per second and i turn it on and we are pretty much on the exact same. I've had no FPS hit. So again, you've got all sorts of settings here, you know, cloud density, you can tune that yourself. Uh, cloudiness, you can have them really, really soft if you want, which actually looks quite nice. 
Uh, you can reset to default. There's all the lighting, the shadows. Um, you got different presets here. Preset two, three, and four. Preset one, in my opinion, looks the best. Uh, so that is the cloud, and that's probably the most anticipated feature of uh, Visual XP, and I think it's done really, really well. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the water add-ons here. So as you can see, we've got the water add-on off, and we are using the Devo X-Plane Water, and it looks okay, but it's a bit flat in my opinion. If we turn it on, we'll go to preset 1, look at that. Does that not look amazing? We have preset 2, which is my personal favorite and preset three. So let's go back to preset two. That's off, that's on. I think that makes a massive difference and I really, really like the way the water looks with this add-on. Now, something I didn't mention, atmosphere and clouds are included in the basic version and the water scenery weather is included in the ultimate version, which is what I've got. So that's the water. Again, you can change whatever you need to here. I, I think, some of these settings are quite you know we've been given a lot of customization options which might be confusing to some people but at the same time you can just leave it all on auto control and the visual xp takes care of the rest so i really do like that it's really easy to use but if you want that customization it's there personally i just leave everything on auto and it looks fantastic so here we go to the scenery tab and what i'm actually going to do here is put it to night time there we are get some lovely night lighting in here and default explain night lighting is okay. It's nothing amazing in my opinion. But just watch what this mod can do for your lights. Look at that. That is beautiful. Now we'll turn it off. And back on. Brilliant stuff. Now, you can change the presets, but I don't see much difference between them. So I just leave them on one. But either way, the night lighting is absolutely amazing. And again, you can change whatever you need to change. You know, the size, make it really bright if you want to. I think it looks amazing. We have some lights here. And if we turn it off, you can see that, you know, Visual XP makes them a lot brighter. If we turn this option on here, you can, you'll be able to see the, the fog, the almost volumetric lighting. Look at that. Now, this does have an effect on FPS. Um, I found it to be quite situational. Sometimes it doesn't affect FPS too much. Sometimes it does, but that volumetric lighting just looks so good. And you can, of course, change the strength of that. Let's go over here to these red lights. Look at that. That light pollution effect is really, really nice. We go over to our aircraft. And I'm going to turn the landing lights on. Get rid of this flashlight now. Okay. So the landing light here is on and it's reflecting on the ground. But in between... There's no, you know, you can't see that there's light there, if that makes sense. If I turn the fog spotlight on, look at that. It looks so realistic. Again, does have a pretty major effect on FPS, but it does look so good. And even from inside the cockpit, you can see that. Oops. Yeah, I think that this option is really nice. I know you can do this um, by editing some data for us within x by default. Um, but this mod makes it really easy to toggle on and off if you so wish to use it Okay, and the last feature is the scenery shadows Now I've not found there to be much difference. I can't see any difference when it's turned on or off uh, I tend to leave it on. I'm not sure Entirely what exactly this does um, But you know, there's no harm in having it on it doesn't affect FPS at all So now what I want to do is just look at some uh, sunsets with the atmosphere setting Let's turn it off, and that's default X-Plane Sunset. Very bright, looks like, you know, oh, we've got some traffic global there. Um, you know, it's quite bright, looks okay. We turn it on. Let it settle a little bit. And yeah, preset one doesn't look amazing, but as you'll see, if I just scroll through the presets here, preset four looks really nice. I do like the way preset four looks. And then we have preset five, six, and seven so you, you can really go for the vibe that you're um you know that you imagine in your head you can there's so much customization and sunsets do look very nice with preset four uh, and five looks okay it's a bit greenish okay so next let's go to the weather tab and we can enable live weather and we'll let it load okay so we've got live weather enabled now and 
According to Visual XP, the Meta at uh, Barcelona, uh, 344 uh, at 10 knots, gusting 16. We've got few at, what's that, almost 10,000 foot, 9 degrees, dew point negative 1, QNH 1022. So this is according to Visual XP. So now we'll turn live weather off and let's enable the X Plane default live weather. We'll let that download and we'll see how that compares. So there you go. Okay, we have now got the live weather from x -Plane and you can see altimeter is 1018, temperature 14. Um, so different to what Visual XP is saying, but let's apply that change. And there you go. So the clouds are, you know, pretty much the same, but things like the QNH, the wind, the temperature is different. Now let's go to an official Matar source and see which one is more correct okay so as you can see here we are on metataf.com and this is what um it's saying for barcelona right now so five knots but the it's varying in the direction uh no ceiling qnh 1019 vfr and so in my opinion the default explain at live weather is better than the live weather that comes with visual xp additionally you have a weather search option so if we do a search for la for example it can uh, you know get all the weather information and you do also have this weather briefing page now these four tabs here in my opinion are brilliant and everything here seems to work really well with the exception of the scenery shadows which i'm again not quite sure what they do the live weather is still a little bit buggy and in my opinion using the default x-plane live weather will give you some more accurate results this can also be used with active sky xp which will provide you some really really nice live weather and some really nice results and i've known many people to be using these two brilliant add-ons in combination uh, the weather briefing generally does work however i have found some bugs uh, and the weather search is also okay, but it doesn't always pick up an airport. Um, so again, it's a bit hit and miss. Now, not to worry though, because I have been in contact with Sim Editions who make Visual XP. And I have to say their customer service has been brilliant. So if you have any issues, do not hesitate to contact them. I'm sure you won't have any issues, but if you do, do contact them. And um, they've basically given me a bit of a roadmap to what the plugin has in store for us in the coming months uh, they are working to sort of revamp the live weather system the weather search the weather briefing so that stuff that's a little bit buggy and maybe not working too well at the moment is getting an overhaul and they are fixing that so they are aware of these bugs and they have acknowledged that you know it might not work the best so they are fixing that which i think is great um, yeah, it's not perfect, but they are fixing it. And so we'll see what happens there. One thing which became abundantly clear when I've been talking to them is they are absolutely adding features by request from the community. So they want to hear from you guys. Um, they want to know what we want with Visual XP and they seem very customer and user focused, which is always a great thing. So in conclusion, I think Visual XP is a great add on. It provides some really nice visuals in x -Plane and I do recommend getting the ultimate version. If you don't want the live weather, you just want the clouds and the atmosphere enhancements, then go ahead and buy the basic version, which is what I really like. The pricing is very fair and you can essentially just pay for what you want and you don't have to pay for stuff you don't want, which is really nice. I do have another review coming out, uh, which is a written review, which goes into everything in a little bit more detail. That'll be coming out on x -Plane Reviews very soon. So as soon as that's out, I'll put the link in the description for you guys to read. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions or issues, please do not hesitate to ask in the comments below or join my Discord. Uh, and I'll be more than happy to help you out there. But in the meantime, please do like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you did like the video. I hope this helped and I'll see you in the next one.